Uh, and if anybody know anything about you should be Maddie. Do you think though? I know. Maddie's a <laughs> Hey y'all, it's your girl Monet Exchange and do not adjust your set, it's the pit stop. Actually, it's Christmas at the pit stop in February. <laughs> Today, I'm very excited to be joined by a fabulous queen who not only gets fashion, but mama, she is fashion because she's the ball winner on season 12. It is none other than the stunningly gorgeous Gigi Good. Good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling? I feel great. You look incredible. Thank you. So do you. We definitely, do. yeah, we did come from the same metaverse today. <laughs> we didn't we even plan it. We have the power <laughs> mesh and the, the slightly satin metallic. Yes, we, we yes. Have it and I mean, I am not fancy enough to have shoes like you, but I am very jealous, girl. Thank you. Gigi, how you been, babe? So good. Yeah, life so good. is good, sweet. Life is good. I'm like finally starting my live drag career yes. at long last. It's yes. literally like the last time I did Pit Stop with Trixie was via Zoom. I know. It was hard to really read the girls and get it done. So I'm, done. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> yes. holding back this time. But yeah, I've been good. We've been we've been busy working and yeah. like getting our, our lives going. I'm excited to travel and meet everybody. Yeah, you know, this is your time to spread your seed all over the world. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> How are you feeling about the delicious cast of season 14? It's pretty delicious. It's chocolate. Getting right into it, mm -hmm. Bosco finally got her first win last week. Yes. Yeah, and she was well really done. good about that. Well done, Bosco. But that means Orion had to sashay away. Again. <laughs> Dang, stick the knife in, girl. And George just comes back in in the fallout mm -hmm. when she's erasing the message, and she's saying, you know, being in the bottom was not the fantasy I thought it would be. I'm like, you thought being in the bottom would be a fantasy? I Under what? Mama, make it, the math ain't mathing. The only goal I had at on Drag Race, <laughs> the, oh, the only one goal I had was don't land in the bottom. I that know. was it. I think we But all... a bitch is hungry for a bottom spot, I guess, and she got it, but she delivered, no? She, she did deliver, it was a great lip sync. I'm like, no one thinks the bottom is a fantasy, George. No, no one wants to be there. No. I mean, I don't mind being on the bottom, but you know, well, under my own conditions. Depends. You it depends, it depends on the condition. So now, the first like handful of girls have gone home. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's always the turning point where the competition starts to feel like real. Would you agree? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you can, I think you can at that point like finally see the competition clearly for what it is. Yeah. It's a crowded field, oh, you yeah. know, yeah. in the beginning. I think this is the point where you finally get to see like, okay, I know who's probably gonna be up there with me. Uh huh. So. Yeah, so Bosco's riding high on this first win. Mm -hmm. Like it's her first win towards the beginning of the competition. Well. When you got your first win, did that propel you? Did that make you feel like, <laughs> these bitches cannot ever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would say so. But I also was not like surprised by it, yeah. you know? Cause I came in and I was like, well, like duh, like this Love is that. literally what we came to do. So we see Daya and um, and Deja getting a little heated. Yes. Do you think people are feeling a little salty? Yeah, I think that again, it's like the mentality, like I think your your head's in the wrong space. If, yeah. you've, if you're safe, like, Props to you. Let it happen. Yeah. Let it roll. Like just yeah. know that that you have a clear mind space. You don't have to worry about what you did wrong or how to you know do that. It's just like you're safe. Okay, on to next week. Do that. Like just don't. I don't know. But then I guess where's the drama? If that doesn't yeah. happen. So Ru enters the workroom and he announces that this week is the Glamazon Prime Design Challenge. We know you love a design challenge, Miss Gigi. I love. Would you, you love know this one? I love it. I'm a slut for a prompt. I love uh, a prompt. I love a theme. Yeah. Like it's a lot easier to create. Yeah. Under those circumstances. Unless, uh, yeah. I, I, I get that. It is. If it's you're like, like left to do anything, yeah. you're like, what do I do? Oh my gosh, it's so much harder. Okay. If you're just given a wall of fabric, it's yeah. like, okay, glams on Prime, interesting. Uh -huh. But I'm intrigued. But they don't know what's in the boxes, so like that's you just... the part I'm not down for. Yeah. So you, do you prefer? Unconventional challenges or challenges with fabric? I, I prefer unconventional. Really? Yeah, totally. I don't. Really? I don't, I just, give me fabric. I would rather have the fabric, make the dress, and then just glue, glue to, it. to it. Yeah. Smart. That's the potion. Would you say this is your key? Like, this is like your signature tip on how to do well in, in a challenge like this? Absolutely. Work. I don't, it, it feels like crazy that it, I'm like the one making it up because it seems like common sense, yeah. no? Yeah. Like yeah. what would you do? How would you go about a design challenge? I think the smartest way is to like make a gown and like glue sponges to it. 
I think that yeah, is like exactly. the best way to be bottom. And you know what? It six. remains in our minds daily, <laughs> nightly. Nightmares. Nightmares. <laughs> Wake, I woke up with a sponge under my pillow the other day. <laughs> and I said, the bitch has been here. Do you have any memories from the design challenge in your season? Yeah, yeah. That Well, that was, um, I think, was that the first one I won? I don't remember what challenge I won for. Was that the fourth, fourth one? Fourth? Or... It could have been the sixth. <laughs> no, but um, the thing I remember the most was, um, I think it was Nikki Doll just walking around with cheese balls and just eating them. Eating them, them and, like, yeah. Like, the bitches and like, yeah. Do you like the elements and the materials coming out of the boxes? This was like a good way to just throw in a box and like be like, good luck. Uh -huh. And it did seem like, it did seem like there was not a lot of fabric options. A lot of tool and like uh, flowy stuff. And like non-stretch, non like the curtains or the shower curtains, like that type of thing. Do you get frustrated when you see queens going on the show not knowing how to sew? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Don't audition for the show. Like you could be the most sickening performer. You could have the only personality, comedy chops, but if you're good, like, I don't know. Do your homework, yeah. you've seen the show. We, I don't even need to go there, but it's like, you should know how to, I mean, I was like, I was always a slow painter, so I would time myself, to, I would only give myself 40 minutes to paint before I went on the show. Work. And I would be like, so that, and then I was like, okay, let me do some like dance lessons before I go on, cause I'm not a dancer. Yeah, and like, smart. Yeah, so like, it's like, you know, do your homework. And... Yeah. So, Daya says she's gonna do this doll look. So then when Willow sends her idea, she's like, oh no, you're not. What do you think about that? I was like, oh my God, like, first, okay, let me tell you, if 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 that happened to me and I were in diabetes spot and I had had my camera time talking about the idea and then someone else came up with it, I'd be like, please, please Go show ahead. me your doll look. Yeah. And I'll show you mine. Work. You know? I like that approach. Because I think it's more fun and it's 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 easier to like compare people's ability in the challenge. Like I, do, I really wonder what Willow would have done if she had done the doll. First of all, I don't, if you were doing that diet, to me that is showing insecurity. You're like, you're yes. afraid of mine's gonna look better than yours. Yeah. So then I, just to piss her off, oh bitch, now I'm definitely making a doll. <laughs> I was yeah. thinking about it before, oh bitch, I'm definitely doing it now. Yeah. And it may be ugly, it may be, it may not be beautiful. And it definitely is unconventional, but I'm doing it more so now. You know, I wish Willow would have like threatened her. I know, but Willow's so sweet. That's just not in Willow's nature. You know that Willow could threaten a bitch and get away with it. Okay, because she's so sweet. Uh -huh. That's how I get away with mm -hmm. I just say rude things, then laugh. Yeah, and, like, like, <laughs> and then everyone just left like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the secret. Yeah. <laughs> so Ms. Daya has been getting many a comparison to Crystal Method this season. Mm -hmm. And as someone who knows Crystal Method, mm -hmm. do you see it or are we just all crazy? I didn't at first yeah. at all. Like knowing Daya, she's, she comes to the house, she can hang, she's fun, I mm -hmm. like her. I love their whole family, it's lovely. I would say that they sound similar, but yeah. that's not fair. And then at first I'd be like, no, they didn't look similar until they played that little scissor reel of Crystal next to her in every look, the red, white, and blue. I gagged. And, uh, I was like, oh. Oh yeah, me too, I was like, oh. There's, it, they're more similar than I thought. But do you think that all these comparisons are getting to Daya? Yeah. It seems a it little would, bit it right. Would it not get to you? Oh, it for sure would. I'd be would. pissed, I'd yeah. be livid. So annoyed. Oh my God. Yeah, same, same. So, understandable Daya. Meanwhile, Maddie Morphosis is at his station, pushing the straight agenda yet again mm -hmm. with this blow up man mm -hmm. there. What do you think about the blow up doll? If I saw that in my box, I'd be like, I'm gonna use this somehow. Yeah? So I'm not gonna carry it on stage with me, but I'm like, yeah. there's like a plastic hairy chest. I would have maybe like ripped that off and sewn that onto the front of a dress and like made it really like weird and skin and gendery. Like, I don't know. There's so many things you can do. My especially going there. You're so smart. But that's the thing is like, yeah. this is a, a straight man opening this box and seeing a blow up doll and saying, oh, I'm gonna put a vest on him. <laughs> Carrying down the, carrying down the runway. <laughs> Rue is also asking Maddie Madeline. if her is on fire, mm -hmm. and Maddie is like, "Uh, what? Like, have they done a reading challenge yet? Not yet. I, I hope. Oh, but Maddie goes home this episode. Damn. And then we know that. Okay. Uh, I wish there was a world that we can see Maddie in a, in, in a reading challenge. Yeah. I would love to see it. Me too. It. I just think you have to be in on the joke. Like, yeah, girl. I, I, don't, I don't know if she's all the way in on the joke yet. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Especially at the last week, Rue was like, we want more. She's like, two weeks ago. And Maddie was like, pissing herself. Like, I was like, girl, not, not my warming up. Bitch, it needs to be on fire. What a nasty way to put it. <laughs> All right, Miss Good. Let's jump into 
First up is the Lady Camden. This was strong. I live. Do you live? I live without the wings. I'm like, oh, I, you yeah. did not need the wings. It went too campy. And the halo too. Yes, yes, yeah. I think I, she was going for a Victoria's Secret mm -hmm. model. I could, yeah. I could see that in the fantasy. I am obsessed that she thought to use terry cloth as the piping. So good. Because you would never, like a bitch would be like, a towel? Oh yeah, Sam. You know? Sam. No, I like <laughs> I it. liked your little Maddie Morphosis impersonation there. The, yeah. <laughs> a towel? <laughs> <laughs> And she gave us the bigger lip that Rue was asking for. I think it was maybe like a millimeter bigger than her normal one. Yeah, she could have went bigger. She could have. But you know, it's safe to air on a smaller side for her because it can go very wrong. Remember when Derek Barry drew them crazy eyebrows and we were oh, all like. Oh no. And at least RuPaul noticed. Yes. You've done your job. Mm -hmm. If you personally hate it, you can scrap it. Yeah. But you've done what was asked of you. Yes. Up next is Jasmine Kennedy. <sighs> No, I hated this look so much. It was so It was bits. really bad. I'm so sorry, Jasmine Kennedy. This is not the one. And, yeah. and every piece of it needs to be stripped away, yeah. thrown to the side, and then start over with a whole new concept, I think. Yeah, this is like the fourth day of Bonnaroo, and you have done too much mushroom, and you're just, you just uh, pulled yeah. everything out of the trunk of your car, and we're like, whoop! Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just crazy to me. This is the Alyssa Edwards effect, but like season five of Alyssa that didn't know anything about fashion. My friends and I talk about this all the time, and, and one of them always says it's Alyssa Edwards and Nicole Page Brooks. <laughs> oh, 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 I see. I mean, <laughs> take a good long look at her, and <laughs> it's it, it's that. So I can see that, and you know I do appreciate a titty bib every once in a while. Gigi, so. I cannot see it. Up next <laughs> is Miss Daya Betty. Yes, certainly. <laughs> Listen though, she even said this during the like when the girls were talking, she was like, sure, this look might be a little bright mm -hmm. and it might lend towards the crystal method of it all. If that popped into my head, I'd be like, let me go the exactly. opposite route and show them exactly who Diabetti exactly. is. Because this is a, this is a very- I can see um, crystal method wearing this. Yeah. I'm not crazy about the googly eye thing or the big eyes. But I think it's, it's a job well done with unconventional materials, for sure. I completely agree. Yeah. Up next is Ms. Madeline Morphosis. Look at the feet on that. That It just looks silly. She looks The feet on insane. both of them. She, Maddie, Madeline. I still don't even understand. She, so she, was she supposed to be like a country girl with her getting married to her country husband? I think that's how it ended. Up being, yeah, that would have been a really clever theme to go full throttle in yeah. at first because it's it's smart. It's this girl who can't get a date. She maybe lives in a little trailer and she's gussied up her little boyfriend to go to the whatever. I just Come on. I just cannot believe it. Man. It's a good look. <laughs> up next is Ms. Willow Peel. This was really cute. I loved it. I love the idea of the look, like the teddy bear it. with the long arms mm -hmm. and. Um, I think with the time allotted, she did a really good job. She was originally gonna do a doll, and I think this could still be like a scary doll, you know what I mean? Well, I'm sure that that's what jump-started her yeah. brainstorming sesh for this, was mm -hmm. like, okay, so there's gonna be a doll on stage, I'm gonna be the monster in the bedroom. Yes. Which I think is what she said to RuPaul in the walkthrough, so, yeah. smart girl. Which shows how her mind is thinking, like she was yes. throwing a curveball and she was like, okay, <gasps> I can work with it to be like a monster in a child's room as opposed to being like mm -hmm. a toy in a So I love, I love, I love seeing like peeking into a queen's yeah, brain yeah, yeah, and totally. seeing how it's working. I love oh that. God, she that looks brain stunning. Is wild. Up next is Miss Bosco. Bosco. I love this. It's cute. It's cute. Cute only, Gigi. <laughs> it's I cute. love this. I love the hair. I love the blue color. Yeah, I love cute. the orange. I do. This color combo is very strong. It stand, in the lineup, it stands oh, out as a color combo. 1,000 percent. Definitely say, I love a storyline to mm -hmm. a look. I love like when you can tell a story with a look. It just mm -hmm. doesn't seem like, I don't know, I don't know like who she is or where she's going. Gotcha. You know. Let's take a look at Miss Deja Sky. <laughs> it's the slow turn and the <laughs> yeah, slow blink. <laughs> I have to tell you something. Tell me. I don't understand what the judges were just so gooped and gagged. They were like, the construction, the shape, the movement, the this, <laughs> that. I'm like, this this girl's a seamstress. What was she doing with her time? Because this is sheets and a belt, right? Yeah. Is it not? This is a bottom look for me. Bottom look. Bottom too. I would say it's the best Deja has looked for me, honestly. Neck up, agree. Yeah, well, Neck I don't like up, that thing on her head. thing down. <laughs> Neck up, thing down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, looked, I don't like the thing on her head or the thing great. on her shoulder. 
Yeah. And I think the reason why she looks good from neck up thing down is there's no pesto wig. She does. I, I think she looks best in a, in a natural tone. Right? I think so. Sometimes it takes going on TV to see yourself and being like, I don't Ooh, need to do that anymore. I had so many realizations same. on TV. Same, same, like, same. Okay, so we know where to start. Let's talk about Angeria. This look, <laughs> this look should have won. You had a very big reaction when it. Oh my God! Over when over. It, yeah. it, it, looking at it right away, it's not anything like cuckoo, cachoo, crazy. Yeah. But it looks so well constructed. It looks so good here. This that she, it almost looks like she like, just like ruched all the fabric and like crumpled yeah. it together and just stuffed it in there and it created that bustier. Yeah. It looks to me kind of scaparelli ish. Ooh, I can um, see that. It do, I, I think she did a really good job. She looks great. Every week, Andrea gags me. Every week, I'm like, oh my God, so you can do another thing. Work. Let's talk about Miss Georges. Let's talk about Miss Georges. I'm gonna let you go first. Okay. Because um, <laughs> it's better than what she started with. Agreed. That, like, fur, the Agreed. aubergine. But even when they did the up close, I was like, this is a cookie cutter that she just glued to a belt, tied some fabric around her shoulder, belted it, and it was like good to go. And I, you know, when she won, the girls in the back oh. were like, oh, you can I see wish, Daya's face. I wish you could see a close, close up of the girls. Part of me thinks that because she did her little, the dance. A little shimmy. And her little mm -hmm. shimmy and her little mm -hmm. shake, she stole it. Because I will say, no shade to my sister Monique Hart. On season 10, Monique was looking crazy. But Monique but could sell a garment. That's half the, that's half the runway. That's half the thing, yeah, that's, selling the garment. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So maybe she just won based on that performance and mm -hmm. it wasn't even a performance challenge. So props to you, props mama. To you. <laughs> props to you, mama. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not oh. least, Miss Carrie Colby, girl. It's really hard to look at her up close because Perfect. she's so flawless. Uh, it's really frustrating. Yeah. But. This is not that. Not the tea, girl. Mm -hmm. I didn't love it. Full tea, though. Carrie's not a seamstress, but she's been safe in both design challenges. Well, good for her. I mean, that's the goal. If you're not a seamstress, the goal is safe. Safe, like, for sure. Be safe. Who had your favorite look? Angeria. Angeria had your favorite. I really, really think so. It was so beautifully, it looks finished. Yeah. I love Angeria's, but I have to give it to Bosco for me. I love really? Bosco. I really did. That was your fave, your number that was one? My fave, fave. My you know fave. what, though? I could see you in this. Look. Oh, I Easy. absolutely wear that. You should ask her. I, girl, that would fit around my cankle. Well, she'll just make you another one. Kinda. <laughs> just grab some Ikea bags and make you another one. <laughs> Who had your least favorite? <sighs> Miss Matthew Morphosis. I agree a thousand percent. After the critiques, we find out that Georges is in fact the winner of this week's challenge. Do you agree? No. Yeah. I'm happy for her. Same. I am. I'm never like unhappy for a girl if they win. Get your $5,000 going about your day. Congratulations. But it's not your best moment. Your season, did they give cash money for winning challenges? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sadly, the bottom two are Maddie Morphosis and Jasmine Kennedy. Do you agree with the bottom two? It was fair. I agree with the judges because obviously Jasmine Kennedy is a performer. Yeah. That's what she does. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that I'm sure in the back of her head she was like, I know this song. I'm gonna be fine. You know? <laughs> yeah. She's like, I perform this song day in and day out. And Maddie Morphosis was like, oh, He's like, uh, I record Nickelback. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> they lip sync to Sugar Mama by Beyonce. Hilarious. And as soon as it starts, I can, Maddie, if y'all don't believe me, rewind <laughs> the taste. Maddie literally goes pale. The <laughs> that track starts and Maddie loses every ounce of color in his face and that dress. <laughs> okay, and I was like, ooh girl, she's like, not Maddie Sepia. doing Sugar Mama. It was, it was just a little wild. Yeah, it was a little wild. Just like, a little wild. Jasmine was serving sex. Yeah, she was yeah, whipping yeah. that hair around. She Go walked, when she it, walked up stage and revealing into that outfit, I was like, yeah. this is what you should have walked the runway in the first time. Tea. You know what Did I mean? Did she make that, that looked, or was that just under? I think, I think, I think she, I don't know. So Miss Jasmine Kennedy wins the lip sync. Rightfully so. Do you agree? Yeah, yes. I agree. Yeah. So we're seeing Maddie Morphosis open her chocolate and see if it's the golden chocolate. That, okay, I thought that um, Miss June Jambalaya's was gonna be the top tier of, <laughs> it's chocolate. Yeah. It's chocolate. But then Maddie opening it, looking like that, and just being like, it's chocolate. I'm pretty sure there was like a voice crack in there too, which just kind of really helped. It's chocolate. 
I don't know. Comedic it's relief. chocolates every week. It gets better and better. I think Maddie has made a big impact. It started a whole new conversation For among sure. this world, which yeah. I appreciate. Good on you, Maddie. Good on Good you. Good on ya. Which queens are sending out to you as like real contenders in this competition? Obviously Willow. Yeah, Willow, Willow's for sure. Willow's my front runner right now. Willow mm -hmm. and Angie. Those are probably my top two. I just love Angie. She yeah. is just a doll. She really like, is a doll. Oh my God. Love Angie. She's definitely at the top of my list. Mm -hmm. My dear, you know, you are not just a good guest, Gigi. You're a great guest. Petition to change your name to Gigi Great. Gigi Great. Gigi Great. Gigi the Great. Gigi the Great. <laughs> it was a pleasure having you here, my dear. And you know, Thank you are welcome you. to the pit stop with me anytime. Great, I'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> And you know who else is invited here with us anytime? You! Thank you all for watching this episode of The Pit Stop. Join us next week where we recap episode 7 of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 14! Put the echo on it. I liked nothing about this look. <laughs> I liked literally nothing. I, like I don't want you to keep that. I like absolutely nothing. I like absolutely nothing about this look. And I want y'all to keep all of that in. Mm -hmm. I like the shoe. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know what? The shoe. Mm -hmm. She didn't make it though. No, it was yellow. I don't like that either. Uh hey, it's Michelle Visage. Do you want gay shit? Check out RuPaul's Drag Race YouTube channel and hit subscribe.